Hey everyone! It's been a year since I moved into my apartment, and while it's still a work in progress, I wanted to give you a little update on the most complete room so far the living room. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. This is what it looked like before we moved in. A really big space under the roof with differing ceiling heights, two small windows and a huge glass door that leads to a balcony. The first step in the makeover was changing the basics. We refinished the floors and walls, upgraded the door and floor trims and changed the hardware to brushed brass. Because the living room is quite large, we decided to break it up into different sections. We created a small kitchen with a coffee station and some planned storage under the roof. A dining table in the middle of the space for six people. This smaller space will be the TV corner with a large L-shaped sofa. The perfect spot for movie nights. Now, let me show you the TV corner. We went for an extra large, extra cozy sofa that is extra soft. So many sitting possibilities. It can even be extended into a large bed with a lot of hidden storage underneath. And we added IKEA wooden mats to the arms of the sofas to put down our drinks. We bought two small circular tables from Murmax and spray painted the wooden legs black. And here's a brass tray to keep the remotes in one place. The TV console table is where we keep all our electronics and accessories. I use storage boxes to keep the visual clutter to a minimum. Of course, we couldn't forget about the cutest member of our household, Coco. We gave him his own designated seating so he can watch us and judge us from a distance. He's living his best life and we're just his humble servants. We bought a large dining table for 6 to 8 people. Initially, we had some issues with water rings on the surface, so Leon re sanded it and added another layer of oil, which makes it a bit more protected from daily use. I paired this table with 6 white chairs. The legs are solid wood and the backs are plastic, which makes them easy to clean. We haven't had a chance to install pendant lights above the dining table yet, so to set the mood for dinner, we're using wireless table lamps. Against the wall is a solid wood sideboard we bought from West Wing. It's made of a dark wood with an interesting texture on the doors. The sideboard is perfect for keeping all sorts of crap out of sight and helps to keep the room looking tidy. The sideboard is decorated with photographs, meaningful items we collected over the years and dried flowers that never die but will collect dust and make your nose itchy. Our existing kitchen is a little bit small and lacks storage space so we created a second kitchen in the living room. This one is used just for making coffee and tea. Appalachian sunrise. All the drawers are additional storage for items that we couldn't fit in the main kitchen in. and equipment that's specific for making coffee and tea. Most of the items that you see here is from IKEA, including the black cabinets, the full marble counter and backsplash, the black shelf above, and this task lighting under the shelf which you can switch on using a remote. You can also adjust the intensity to suit your mood. 
I bought some brass handles from Amazon to match the tap and rest the metal in the room. To make the space feel even cosier, I added a runner rug in front of the kitchen. It's also the perfect length for doing sit-ups. But who am I kidding? I don't do sit-ups. I just lie here and contemplate life while waiting for the kettle to boil. I haven't quite decided how to use this corner yet. So for now, it's reserved for storing cat furniture and for playing hide and seek. To bring the room to life, I added plants of different sizes and shapes in every corner and on every available surface. I used cable boxes to reduce visual clutter. Walk up the river by night. It's easy to overlook windowsills, so I used nice books, vases and other decorative objects to add a little bit of personality to the space. Let's not forget the functional stuff like soap and kitchen towels. For lighting, I opted for a slim minimal light fixture for the low ceiling. All the lights are totally adjustable. Since we haven't installed the permanent light fixture above the dining table yet, we're using rechargeable outdoor lights that do a quite a good job in the meantime. There's also task lighting above the kitchen counter and floor lamps and table lamps throughout the room to create a cozy ambience in the evening. Gone. 